What a wild city. And I can tell you the hottest spot in Rio right now is without question, zero, zero. So we're gonna work on a, uh, a theme that you may know around the world, people are using marmalade uh -huh. in drinks. It's uh, started with the, the breakfast martini, sure. but we're gonna make a breakfast caipirinha. So instead of sugar, sure. there's plenty of sugar in the, in the, uh, the marmalade. We're gonna play around with that theme. Okay. We hear you're an expert in nightlife. You're uh, apparently the man about town. Yeah, sure. So can we I love to do it, you know, <laughs> especially here in Zero Zero, because it's a place, you know what, uh, you can do everything here, you know, yep. if you want. You know, if you want to have to come to have dinner, you can do it. If you want to stay for dance, you can stay. If you don't do them both, you can do it. You know, it's, it's the best place in town. I'm so proud Fantastic. of it. Fantastic. We're going to use a little bit of Cointreau, Cointreau. orange liqueur. Fantastic. And of course, cachaça. Mm -hmm. Are you sure this is for breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> We hope that you like it. I'm gonna change my point of view on my breakfast, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, right, thank you. It was a late night for us, but we're up early in the morning. We're on our way to one of Rio's many vibrant outdoor markets. Yeah, we're gonna uh, meet up with the, the head chef of uh, restaurant Zaza, one of Rio's most famous restaurants. So uh, Ricardo Hutz has uh, been kind enough to meet us and uh, he's gonna be our guide and take us through exactly this myriad of colours and this kaleidoscope of flavours that we're gonna experience today. We're, so we're quite surprised at how big and how, how uh, fresh and, and colourful all the fruits are here. And the markets are fantastic because they just basically they start handing you fruit, cutting open slices. Oh, that's there we go. <laughs> so this is what cashew nuts. Yeah, we, these, these are the cashew nuts. <laughs> can you can you just eat it raw? Yeah. Yeah. Really juicy. I'm gonna try and uh, peel me a nut. Oh wow. Crazy. It's kind of like an apple meets a peach meets uh, cream. It's really good in desserts. This is a uh, fresh mint, one of the holy grails of, uh, of cocktails around the world. What is the Portuguese for this one? Hortela. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Check out that. Not, not everyone likes it. How does, it's difficult how, to. How does this hang on a tree? Look what I killed. <laughs> Check this out. It's like something from another planet. They use it a lot in uh, cooking from uh, Bayer food. You take these home to massage your feet. I'm just going to soften them up for cooking. You can't go to Rio and not make your way to Christ the Redeemer. It's an icon. When you think of Rio, this is what comes to mind. It's unbelievable. So I guess you kind of read a lot about it and you expect uh, you know, almost that it's going to be a letdown. Uh, it's quite the reverse. It's kind of quite jaw dropping, really. Especially to be up on this height, sitting in the middle of this kind of green wilderness, the biggest urban wilderness on earth, and then uh, looking down on the city laid out below you, and, uh, and then a statue like this, it's quite, uh, quite humbling. This statue finished in 1931, and it's extraordinary. His uh, hands are outstretched, blessing the city, though it's obvious that it doesn't really need it, it's a phenomenal location already. Cariocas like to say that instead of a, he's not actually blessing, he's actually getting his hands outstretched, ready to clap the beat to his favourite samba. What an absolutely amazing way to see the city. Coming up, we pair our cocktails with some of the finest local cuisine. And we find the beat of Rio at a night bazaar. <laughs> Food and cocktail matching, who would have thought? But here we are at Bistro Zaza, a very funky restaurant in Ipanema. We went to the markets today with Ricardo, who's the head chef here at Zaza. He's come up with some dishes especially for us for today. So we're going to go in there and have a little play around. Let's do it. So do a bit of showing off. Well, here we are at uh, restaurant Zaza with uh, Zaza herself and the head chef Ricardo. We've been dying to use this. A little bit of cilantro. Yeah. How long have you had this restaurant? Seven years. Yeah? yeah. And it's going very well? Yeah. So we have lots of foreigners here, mm -hmm. and we have also artists. A tiny splash of rose as well. A splash of Campari. It's going to give it a little bit of crispness. Oh, that looks nice. All ingredients very fresh. I love it. It's beautiful. Delicious. You are teaching me my own drink. Well, okay. <laughs> Tell us about some of the flavors that you have here in the. Here we got the amazing plate. 
real flesh plate uh, with real flesh ingredients. We got the cilantro, the mint, the walnuts, and with the Moroccan couscous, uh, the tuna, and the mango with ginger sauce. Very light, with, very light flavors. Very light flavors. Yeah. A very successful exercise. So Jacob, thank you very much. Ricardo and Jaja, thank you for having us at your restaurant. Thank you. Very nice. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Night falls, so Naren and I look for some bargains in the tourist heart of Copacabana. Brazilian coloured speedos. Oh, Ooh. little short shorts. Very huckleberry thin. <laughs> Got a mirror? It's like, uh, it's like being in Africa and finding uh, Dr. Livingston. I'm Henry Stanley. And there he is. We found him after 30 years in Africa. Coming up next on The Happy Hour, we leave the bustling city and discover an oasis in the hills. Who said drinking out of a coconut was uncool?